Hello folks, we're Show Me Go Explore with another fascinating historical place to show you. This is actually what was known as the Hanging Barn and it is directly behind the old Cooper County Jail in the middle of Missouri. And when I say Hanging Barn, I mean just that. This is where they took prisoners and hung them until dead. And we've been given permission to go explore this particular piece of history. As far as we know, the information that stands is that the last person to be hung was a 19-year-old with a very severe track record and had been known for committing all sorts of crimes, grand theft auto, um, murders in this case. And I've been given permission to go inside here. So I'm going to open this door and we're going to go have a look and everything within. And right now the barn is being used for storage and I'll see if I can't light it up. But um, yes, like I said, 1930s is the last known hanging in this particular facility. And you can see here there's large, these large doors right here, they would open up on that side. And then there's one on that side and they would open up. Um, originally this barn was used to keep the sheriff's horses but when cars became more common, you can see here some of the oil stains from the old vehicles still on the concrete floor right here. And so the fact that, like I said, the kind of history that's been had in here is very, very fascinating. Now, I'm not sure exactly the number of bodies that they would hang. Um, there's only a few that have record because this would have been a time where they probably wouldn't have kept that kind of information as documented as we are known for doing things today. But I'm going to show you that is exactly what you think it is. That's the door that would have opened so that the body could come down. And if you can see right there, I'll try to zoom in, is the rope where they would have hung that. And then real quick, I also, let's see, there's one right here a hanging rope and if the 13 knots, the 13 loops around which is traditional for such a thing. But this is, this is a fabulous piece of history because it happened. History isn't always going to be pretty, it's not always going to be pleasant, but I always think it's important to know what people have done throughout all walks of life, all time periods, because it gives us kind of a clue of what things have done today. Now the Jail itself was closed, and well, as far as stopped being used as a jail, in 1978. It is open now for tourists and historical preservations. Um, the historic society around here is the ones to keep in check with that, to preserve, like I said, just the history of it. And real quick, I'm showing you these steps because I don't know if you've counted, but there are indeed 13 steps on this ladder that go up. Again, 13 is the traditional number for doing this kind of venture. And you bet your bottom dollar, I'm going to slowly and steadily climb up here to get to the top. And I'm going to tell you folks right now, it is very steep, very steep indeed. I'm going to have a look around because I've also been told that there were snakes that like to live up here. So, very carefully. Now, like I said, this barn was built in the 1870s. So, the fact, oof, cobweb, sorry. <laughs> the fact that it's still standing up here and remains is fascinating. But there would have been picketers, there would have been people to watch these events. I mean, anytime there was a known hanging, it got the town and 
in a tizzy for one reason or another. And you can see up there is the gate where they would have opened that. And I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but as of now, there's the, there's the local church bells going off, which is kind of ironically appropriate somewhat for what's happening. I'm not sure. But that is it, folks. That piece of history. And that, of course, over there, that would have been a door, door because this was a barn, like I said, at one point used for horses. So they would have had to have had a place to pitch the hay. And yes, very creaky boards. Very creaky boards where I am. But that is it. I'm not going to open that gate because I'm going to say safety, but I'm trying to watch my footing. It's like I said, a barn built in the 1800s. That is, that is quite the trek down there. I don't know if you can see just how low it goes. But yeah, I mean, you got all kinds of noises up here. This is just fascinating. You can, like I said, see. Now, some of it, of course, has been repaired over time. You can see some of the newer wood they put in. But if you could imagine being alive in that time period and knowing that this was kind of, it kind of was the public, uh, public entertainment, if you can call it that, lightly, for such a thing. But anyway, yes, like I said, we just wanted to film this part. Again, like I said, this was part of the old Cooper County Prison part of the process and a piece of history that should not be forgotten. So stay tuned for the rest of our videos. You can find us on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, of course, where we post our videos. And we'll have more fascinating historical content along the way. And as always, thank you for watching.